Hi, I'm Judy Kessinger. I'm the creator of the Fit Nice system. I designed this system to make your sewing easy. So let me show you another easy garment. This is a jacket. This is called the Serena jacket. And this jacket falls into an S shape. So that's one of the reasons that I called it the Serena jacket, but I did name it after a friend of mine. So I want to show you how simple it is to create this pattern. But before we go into that, let's talk about fabric choices just a little bit. I like slinky fabric because it falls just a little bit better, but you need to be careful because you're going to see both sides of this fabric. If you look at the one that I have on the dress form, you can see that the back side of this is black and the front side of this is gray. I don't really care, it's fine, but just make sure that you know that you're gonna see both sides of it. I like this jacket because you can wear it like this if you want to, or you could fold all of this to the inside and because you had so much in the front, you've got a nice smooth look and it looks like a different jacket. You can also take this jacket and you can go like this, get your, um, put a magnet on a button and you can literally put the button right there. You could put a pin there if you wanted to. And again, it kind of forms like a ruffle and it's an asymmetrical look. So there's a couple of different looks that you can do with the Serena jacket. So I wanna show you two more. This is also slinky, and if you look at this one, when it folds back, it shows solid black. So again, just make sure that you take a look at what the fabric looks like before you start. Sophia fabric is perfect because Sophia fabric is the same front and back. But I even made this jacket out of leather, and I wanna show you a little bit about the leather. You can see that on the leather jacket, it literally forms the lapel, so this, addition that you have to your jacket goes back like that and it forms a lapel. Because it's out of leather, it's not gonna, it's not gonna lay in an S, form, uh, S shape, it's gonna form a lapel. Do you see all the nail heads that are in there? All of those nail heads were glued in, or glued on the jacket with E6000. If you've ever worked with nail heads, they have prongs on them. And to push those prongs through a piece of leather, it uh, wasn't working very well. So I just bent all the prongs down and then I just glued all of them on with the E6000. They'll be on there permanently. But any fabric you choose, you're gonna have a gorgeous jacket. So let's make the pattern. You obviously are gonna need pattern ease to make yourself a new pattern for this. So make sure you go grab yourself some pattern ease. You can purchase that on my website. And you're also gonna make sure you print out the PDF for the Serena jacket because all the sewing directions are on there as well as the drawing directions. So let me show you how simple this is to do. I've taken a piece of my pattern ease, laid it out single layer, and I've laid my pattern on here a little bit different. You're used to putting the fold line on the edge of this, but the fold line of the pattern is on the inside and the side seam is on the outside. So I'm gonna trace around my pattern. Now I folded up my master pattern two inches because this jacket has no hem. This is actually the finished edge. So if you want to finish it, you can finish it on the serger as I did with the filleting thread, or you can, if you want to, just cut it and let, leave it alone because Sophia fabric won't ravel, so you can just use the cut edge of that if you want to. Again, totally up to you as to how you want to finish it. So what I've done is I've traced around the outside of the pattern, and now I want to show you how to make the S part of this, or the bump part of this, and that's what forms into the S. So I'm going to scoot this over just a little bit, like this, and I am going to measure about, and you don't even have to be exact on this, about the middle of your pattern. You want to measure out 12 to 14 inches. And the 12 to 14 inches depends on how big you are. Uh, if you want a lot of fluff here in the middle, go 14. I'm going to do this 12 inches right now just to show you. So I'm going to mark a line at 12 inches. Now, I've done this a million times, so I'm pretty good at drawing this line. If you're not, I'm going to encourage you again to use a pencil the first time and just keep drawing it until you're happy. Now let me fold this back up so that you can see that that's going to end right there. And all I'm going to do is draw a circle like this and come right back to my hem like this. That's it. That's all it takes. <laughs> so cut this out. And that is now the new 
front of your Serena jacket. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you've seen how simple and easy this system is to work with. All of the products you've seen in the video are available on my website or a link on my website. Please make sure while you're there to check out the classes to see where I am. Join me on Facebook under Fit Nice and be sure to join the Fit Club. Thank you.